Howdy, fellow submission peeps. In today's video, we're going to be doing uh, puzzles. Uh, these are heartfelt puzzles. Uh, they come from kindysystems.itrans.com. They were kind enough to send us these to try. And also, we're going to be doing Universal Woods uh, Unisub puzzles, um, which are also available at kindysystems.itrans.com. Um, I'll go ahead and include the links in the description below for everything so you can try it out. And without further ado, we'll go ahead and dive into it. Alright guys, let's go ahead and get our puzzles printed. Um, on the heart puzzle, it's right at eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter. So what I've done here is make this eight and a half by eight and a half. That way we have a little bit of room for wiggle. Um, the other one is right at, it's it's just a little less than seven by ten. So I went ahead and just did seven by ten on that. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get that printed and we'll go ahead and get these pressed. All right, guys, as you know, the first step to anything is after we get this printed, we'll go ahead and uh, cut the sublation paper. Go ahead and switch sides on that so y'all can see what we got going on. As always, we're just gonna use our nice little guillotine paper cutter. Just gonna put it up there. Give it a little chop chop. Just line everything up nice and neat and Give it a little chop. Here's our first one. And here's our second one. This one I added, um, I did add a little color along the edge to kind of, to fill out that heart a little better. So it would have to crop the image or do nothing silly like that. There we go. Nice and neat. So we'll go ahead and get these over to the press and uh, get them loaded up. All right, guys, the heat press is almost heated up, but we are heating up to uh, 375 degrees. And we're pressing this for around 70 seconds, just like almost anything else with sublimation. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, get this going. So we're gonna cut the plastic on the back. And be careful not to uh, not to lose the puzzle when you get it when you're taking it out, because you don't want to have to put put together a blank puzzle. That would be terrible. So you want to be really careful when you're getting the plastic off and don't drop it or anything silly. And I would suggest going ahead and pressing it with the uh, with that on there. It's going to be very important that you actually trim up your paper so you can get it on there reasonably straight. Just, uh, just one man's opinion on that. That's 100%. Let me go ahead and get a piece of paper, too. And we have our butcher paper. Our, we have our backer, uh, the backer cardboard on it. Uh, the puzzle itself. Clean that a little bit. It went off. Uh, but, yeah, we're good to go. We're just waiting on the press to heat up. Uh, we'll go ahead and put this on. I'm just going to set it right, right down. No tape or anything. Yeah, we're good. We're a hundred percent good. And there's our press. And we're going to press in this at 70, uh, 70 seconds for 375 degrees with quite a bit of pressure. So we'll go ahead and let that press and then we'll go ahead and do the uh, fabric one next. All right, guys, we have about 10 seconds left and we're gonna go ahead and get this paper off. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get ready to open this press. Now we pressed it for 70 seconds at 375 degrees. So we're going to go ahead and lift that up. And we're going to go ahead and pull this paper off. And we're going to go ahead and do peel this one off. And we're going to go ahead and yank the transfer paper off. And there's your puzzle. Nice and super clean. And it looks really good. And it makes me happy. It's for, it's for a friend of the family. Very, very, very warm. And please don't let it fall apart. So you can see just how good that one looks. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get this one situated and let it cool and we'll go ahead and get the next one prepped. All 
All right, guys. Next up, we're going to be doing this uh, this felt puzzle. It's a little softer than the Unisub. Um, it's more for... It's, it's better for a kid's puzzle, in my opinion. We're going to go ahead and knock this out. Um, the picture with the... The, the one with the, uh, the edges more pronounced, that's the side you want to print on. You'll notice a difference in the textures. Um, so we'll go ahead and... Go ahead and get that pressed, too. Go ahead and get everything in there nice and neat. Go ahead and lay our transfer paper down. And we will go ahead... Put our other piece of paper down. And put our butcher paper down. And we're doing these face up uh, 375 degrees for 70 seconds. And bam. All right, guys, we have about 15 seconds left on this uh, on this puzzle, so we're going to go ahead and get suited up and ready. Shouldn't need a glove or anything, but, you know, we'll see. All right, five, four, three. All right, let's go ahead and see what we got. Let's Hopefully, first try, we got it. Almost anything can be pressed with that time and temp, and usually it'll turn out pretty good. All right, so let's go ahead and get the paper off. Shoo. A little warm. Oh man, that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and get me a glove so I can show you. Please don't fall apart, puzzle. And there you go. See, the, the felt one has a. It, it takes the lower resolution images a little bit better, in my opinion. But we'll go ahead and let this cool and um, we'll go ahead and talk about these. Alrighty guys, that's how you do uh, both hardboard puzzles and felt puzzles. Um, both turn out exceptionally well. Um, as always, everything used will be in the comment section below. And until next time, y'all have a good one. If you found this video helpful, feel free to subscribe and like the video to help grow the channel. Thanks guys, I'll see y'all later.